The weather radar at Entebbe International Airport, bought 19 years ago, was part of the equipment that was refurbished ahead of Chogam in 2007. Government spent 515 million shillings to repair the radar, but it became obsolete a few months after Chogam. This has put the aircraft navigation industry at risk since the meteorology department cannot obtain proper information to accurately predict weather conditions at the airport. It is 19 years old, it is ancient, and uh, other parts break down. The permanent secretary in the Ministry of Water, David Obong, who appeared before the Public Accounts Committee probing the misuse of Chogam funds, was hard-pressed to explain why his ministry bought substandard equipment. So we've decided that these officials who were involved in the procurement of that system um, refund that money and in any case not later than 30 days from today. The ministry officials say lack of a radar system here could make the airport blacklisted by the International Civil Aviation Organization and international flights are banned at Entebbe. They told MPs that they now rely on guesswork to predict weather and to assist pilots to land and fly out. The way we operate, we have alternatives. So since we have alternatives, we minimize risk. But Obong pleaded with Parliament to pass his 8 billion shillings budget next financial year to buy new equipment. And it never served the purpose and the Uganda lost 515 million. He also revealed that a bill to transform the meteorology department into a full government agency was in the offing. The committee has ordered members of the ministry's contracts committee to refund 9 million shillings they received as allowances purportedly for inspecting various sites after Chogam.